I'm still trying to get my camera set. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's like listing. Uh. Well, you stupid thing. That is not what I want. I was not prepared. Also known as situation normal videos. Come on. Hi, Mary. I'm having some problems here. <laughs> there I am. Okay, turn this down. Pause. Okay. <laughs> it happens to me all the time. <laughs> All right, I said I would work on this. <laughs> I've got some shadows. Ugh. Good evening. Ta -da. A little more light. Feel, felt like a humid desert here today. Does that make sense? <laughs> it was hot, in other words. And I'm tired of hot. Okay, Melanie's from Nevada. Mary, where are you from? We need a roll call. Everybody say where they're from. Ohio. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no. Ohio's a big state. You know, it doesn't look big on the map, but when you try to drive it, it's huge. We used to go on the interstate. I would ride in the semi-truck with my dirty, rotten first husband. Um, if you're going to win a mucka man with me, you can ride. So I climbed into the cab and then I settled down inside. Okay, anyway. I used to ride with... <laughs> Romaine. Hey, Central Texas. Um, dirty, rotten first husband. We'd be driving on 75 in Ohio. Oh, awesome. And we'd see a sign that said, Brian Defiant. I said, oh, that would be a good name for a kid. <laughs> if I was going to have any more kids and they turned out to be boys. Brian Defiant. What's the weather doing in British Columbia? Make, make me feel better about myself. <laughs> I didn't even go outside today. Yeah, I take that back. I went on the porch and got some plants and brought them in. Hey, thank you for that thumbs up. I got, I got something to show you in a little bit. <laughs> uh oh, fires. Well. I can't complain about Dirty Rotten Husband, number one, because he died. And I'm going to get his social security really soon. 
I saw that the state of Florida cashed my $3 check so I could get my marriage license. So, he did give me three beautiful children. So I'm just tacking down this vine ribbon that I got at Hobby Lobby. I see a twist there. Look at that. Okay. You're not the only one, baby. <laughs> Don't give up. <laughs> Give up on what? Men? I did. I don't need nobody telling me what to do. I did have to have the picker come in and I had him move my TV and he brought me a oh <laughs> um Darn it. I'm looking right at it. Why do I lose my words? A laser printer. My picker brought me a laser printer. <laughs> and I gave him more than he wanted. And he helped me do some stuff around the house. So... I'm not a man hater. I just don't need one. You know what I mean? Okay. So, I see it got a little bit. I'm not going to worry about that. <laughs> this is true, Melanie. My granddaughter, Sadie, is like, Grandma, I'm worried about you. You're all by yourself. I'm like, sweetie, don't worry about me. <laughs> I love it. I eat when I want. Watch what I want on TV. Go where I want. So. I have threaded some threads. But here's my pile. So I thought I'd do a cluster. These were all in a sewing box I forgot that I had. And as I was moving things around today, I was like, look, I'm rich. Anybody know what this is? It goes like this. Anybody? Bueller? I'm not going to tell you. You have to guess. These were in there. I'm not going to use the blue beads on the quilt. Guitar capo. Oh, Mary! <laughs> you knew it! <laughs> think I thought this was beads you know what it is it's a ball chain it's like for a sink drain or something okay what was I gonna do I'm not gonna work on that anymore I'm going to find Let's do on this one. Used to play banjo. How cool. I used to play guitar. It's sitting right over there laughing at me right now. Let's do a cluster. Okay, stop. Let's 
trying to do something there. I don't like those shadows. You did? Oh, that's hilarious, Romaine. <laughs> and I'm glad you thought about me. Okay, I want to try to... <laughs> I'm going to make a supposed ribbon, a rose out of this. Okay, I crocheted some satin ribbon and this yarn together. This at about seven, about seven inches. And you just start in the middle. just beat it into submission a French knot on the button I can do that I'm gonna clip that thread so I don't have to thread it again quite yet I finished the wedding pillow. I'm going to show it to you in a minute. I kind of made a gaff on the back of it, but it is what it is. Hi, Mary Wise. This may be a little too big, but we're just going to run with it. Maybe only crochet it five or six inches long. Okay, I need to rethread. Uh, I'm not clever. I'm actually getting worse by the day. I figured this out when I was doing that turquoise and brown quilt in Colorado. I actually got carried away with the uh, clusters on that one. So... have my never-ending spool of thread. I've had this since 2007. 
it doesn't say how many yards is on there, but hey, there's my sister, Juju. Look at that first try. It is not. It is Nymo beating thread. I got it at Goodwill. Marsha, you are alive. <laughs> Hi, Hetty. <laughs> Look, everybody, Marsha's alive. <laughs> Okay, we're going to put some pearls in the middle of this. And then we're going to do a French knot over that button. So I'm going to take these bigger ones. This is new old stock. <laughs> oh, I already had some on there. Not quite as big as that, though. I was putting them on that wedding pillow. Romaine, remember when Josh Alexander got stung by the wasp? Uh, Judy's husband got stung by wasps, but he, his face didn't swell up like that. She showed me his face. I said, oh, that ain't nothing. You ain't hurt, boy. <laughs> Let me show you somebody that <laughs> got hurt. <laughs> no, but they, they act, reacted real fast and gave him Benadryl and iced it down. And she was quick on the, quick on the draw. Look at that. Pretty as can be. I want to put one of these on there. Got these at Joanne Fabrics. Holes are kind of weird. You have to kind of overlap stuff. No, I'm not going to do a French knot. I'm going to put little tiny pearls. We'll do a, a spray of French knots, though. Let me go through that twice. Oh, 
Okay. There's my little pearls. Well, do I need to get some out? Three millimeter. Or I could use these. Here's some already open. If it'll go over this needle, all right. Really? Hi, Jane. Are you way up north? And more importantly, did you bring me anything? <laughs> there, see? Okay. I want to put... Hey, I could probably go ahead and put that on there. All right. Thank you. Let me put a little glue on that later. I think I will. I did find my interfacing today and I did uh, steam it onto the back of the pillow to hold all the threads in place. So, not right now, but later I'll put a drop of glue there. Let's put some leaves. I got some really thick like number three thread. Uh, let's see if I can remember how to do it. like a modified fly stitch which is right here but you keep it really close together Kind of like a feather stitch too, but kind of, but not really. See how that's making a leaf.
I'm ready to start another 100 things challenge, and this time I mean it. Good grief. <laughs> Jan Glines is in the house. Because I went to two, count them, two yard, town-wide yard sales. <sighs> oh my God. I got to bring these plants in. Look at that. Look at that leaf. Look, look at my leaf. And it needs another one. So Jan's been painting. I saw on the Facebooks. I don't always see things the day you post them. When did you do that swatch board? Or whatever you call it. Sample board. Or those regular watercolors, metallics, I can't tell. One more, just one more. I bought some cheapo metallic watercolors at the Dollar General. I love them. I paint envelopes with them and then I do other things like stamp and glitter glue on top of them. Do some French knots with this. Hola, Isa. Como has estado? Is it going to show up on there? Ain't nothing but a thing. Oh, oh, wee! I hit the camera. We 
wait till you see the necklace I bought at the yard sales because <laughs> you know I don't have any necklaces <laughs> Couldn't resist. Yeah, how did that go? I saw like one pet one post on Facebook. Did you have fun? caught my ring. Well, Janice, <laughs> I did, but I still have approximately a thousand left. Okay, I'm going to do one more, and then we're going to have show and tell. Oh, hey, it's Victor. <laughs> How are you, Victor? Okay. I'm old. I'm old. Okay, this is what I got done on the white. On white. I put that lace. And this lace. And I put... It blends in so well. It's camouflage. You did sell a lot of kimonos. That's excellent. Here's an envelope that I did. See, it didn't stamp perfectly, but whatever. It's those metallic paints, and I stamp, and then I put the glitter glue. So I did those. And this is another kind where I put the flower stamp and again with the glitter glue oh, darn it I keep hitting that okay now can you see why I bought this I had to have it and look at it. it's stretchy <laughs> Yes, ma yes, mother. <laughs> Bye, Jane. Thank you. It's a choker. The fringe has a Thunderbird on it also. And I paid $2. Oh, and I got a little bag of jewelry. Uh, it was so much fun to go through. I almost filmed it, but man, my table is a wreck in there. So, yeah. This, the lady that was selling this, she had really, really good taste. I loved her stuff, but it was too little for me. It's very Indian. From the land of sky blue waters. Okay. Wedding pillow. I haven't made the insert yet. But this is how the top turned out.
Now I'm going to confess my boo-boo on the back. I, this is, it should be like this. <laughs> I don't know if it matters or not. And, but if I do it that way, the name's upside down. <laughs> so I, it doesn't matter. It's a gift, right? They shouldn't complain. I had started putting the names here and I didn't like it, so I took it off. Then there was, it was all marked up. So I put this piece of lace on it. I'm pretty happy with it. Marilyn Lovejoy, when you watch this, I do not have any more of this left or I would just give it to you. So I am so sorry. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. I wish I could remember what day she asked me to do it. I know I think it took me three weeks altogether. Um probably only six hours, but <laughs> three weeks, you know. <laughs> Because I can't really sit and concentrate. Yeah, and I remember I was questioning these on here, but I like how that looks now. Okay. Oh, back to my thing. going to put some dark green. Ooh, I didn't tie that off. Well, that would be tragic. Hey, I am live, Fran. <laughs> You're watching me on your TV, aren't you? Fran just texted me. Huma Luma Lu. Please tell me a little bit about yourself because <laughs> I do not know you very well. And I'm nosy. <laughs> okay, so here. I'm sorry that isn't Hey, I could put a yellow one there beside it, couldn't I? I could. I saw some yellow. Here it is. Okay. And your leaves don't have to be all complicated. They can just be some straight stitches. See that? find a needle. Look, I put the scissors right back down there to give Janice a heart attack.
Excuse me, Victor? I am looking at chat. Slicing. Oh, you want to see my scar? <laughs> right there. <laughs> That's my scar from when I sliced my leg open from the hiding... What do you call them things? <laughs> Exacto knife. And then a week later, I stepped on that rusty metal out in the yard and had to get a tetanus shot. <laughs> like, I, I avoided the urgent care with the, the knee slicing, but I still had to go get a tetanus shot. Okay, we'll put some yellow ones, and then we'll be able to see them better. It's going. I don't like the feel of this thread. It's vintage. It is not mercerized. And it feels yucky. Okay, as far as I know, they started in the late 1800s after trade with Japan opened up and the china or the porcelain that they brought would get crazing on it and so they would patch the fabric to make it look like the crazing so it wasn't crazy. Oh, Victor. <laughs> um, I don't know. What kind of mixed media would you like to see? I will do something especially for you, Victor. But you have to tell me what you want. And then, you know, people had... Um, well, the high society ladies, they had time and money and silk and velvet fabrics. So that's... Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to put a small silver button or a small silver bead somehow. Right there, right? Right there where you want it. Okay. I am digging this goldenrod. I'm going to write a poem. And it's going to, the first line is going to be, yellow is the color of mid-September. Anything but make a video about... How to make? Is that what you, how? What was that last word, Victor? 
No, you have to be more specific than that. Anyway. Crazy quilt people are screaming for crazy quilt videos. Victor's screaming for mixed media. I'm making a golden rod. Okay. I will. I was thinking about doing a master board and making some ATCs. I think I could do that. I've seen some really cool master boards lately. With lots of gluing and stamping. And more gluing. A master board. You do a bunch of collaging and stamping and mark making and painting on them and then you cut them up. I did think about the steampunk jewelry, Victor. I've been thinking about that. I'm thinking I can do some cuffs. That would be cool. Oops. Okay, here's my little needle and my never ending thread. Yep, that's correct, Janice. You could cut them up and do your eye cads on them. All kinds of things. <laughs> what were we saying about men being pushy? Do you see Victor pushing me? cool tags would be really cool. Okay, how am I going to do this? Uh, okay, got an idea. Let's swing it to the middle. Okay, find a silver bead. Yeah, this is true, Janice. And a nice long distance relationship isn't too bad, right? <laughs> I don't, Janice, I don't know if you were here when we were talking about the men. My head doesn't need to swell. Hey, look, it worked. Me and this flower's gonna box. I need to get some good glue. I like it. Look at that. So definitely make your starting chain shorter. And wash your buttons before you put them on. <laughs> that is definitely vintage. I consolidated three, four. Okay, I'm working on number four. So, vintage sewing boxes that I had laying around. I consolidated them because the handles were broke and one of them didn't have a lid. And man, I found the neatest stuff that I didn't 
remember that I had. And so, okay. Somebody needs to look this up. Hessian buttons. I swear I think they're from the Revolutionary War. Okay. I like it. That little butt bead, he's going to need to drop a glue to. So when I glue the flower, I will glue the bead. And don't worry, it'll dry clear. Okay. Let me... Let me grab something. I'm going to show you those buttons. I looked up, I looked them up. They're like really old. I don't know if they're reproduction, uh, but look up Hessian, this Estevs Spes Nostra. Something about God, I don't know. But they were in a, Whoops, they were in a one of those sewing kits. And then I <laughs> look how old this is. There's no Ben Gay in there. That's <laughs> um, pins. <laughs> look at this tiny, tiny safety pin. but I love old stuff. Made for the French market, evidently. And I got another thing. Two other things, actually. Because remember I said I've been on a buying spree. This, let's see the shanks again. Oh, darn it. But look them up on eBay. They're on eBay and Etsy, too. Like... Somebody wanted 12 bucks just for one of them. And then somebody had a set of four in a really cool leather case. And that was 50-something. You can get these at Joanne Fabrics. Somehow. The, are you kidding me? Because how could this be from the Revolutionary War? Like, wasn't that like a long time ago? Like 1776? Because <laughs> in my holding, they're uh, German Hessian soldiers that helped the British. I mean, I want it to be real, but is it real? Are they, you know what I'm saying, right? I can't even talk. Okay. <laughs> There's an LED mechanism in here. If I had a lighter, I would show you. When you light the candle, see that thing beside it? This, it color changes. 
Yes, could you do some research for me? Thank you. <laughs> um, it changes LED colors. It is so freaking cool. I tried to get that off. It wouldn't come off. And my friend Tenna. This is to remind you guys to thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, the thread. The thread looks like way old. I mean, there. I don't know. But if this is really a piece of history, it's mine. It's mine, 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 mine. But <laughs> this is my thumbs up light. Obviously, it's changing colors. Tenna got it for me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you what else I found then, since you've got gallstones. Okay, my friend, I made a video of this once. My friend Mary gave me her button, her sewing box. Yes, three legs. Do you see them? Do you see these? They were in the butt in the button box. She was so embarrassed, but I refused to give them back. <laughs> because she's the one that gave me that. Um... Hey, cinquenta centavos. 1956. Didn't know that was in there. Here's a checker. I don't know nothing about no calibers. They don't look like 22s, so they might be 38s. 38 specials. Some old marbles. But this is why I like. <laughs> I will buy. I will buy old sewing boxes all day long. Okay, there are two of these and they are the old type of pin backs. So what do you think them were for? It's like a Celtic knot. So I've had a blast today. And diamonds. <gasps> I'm going to put that on the crazy quilt block. Just when you thought you were done. I'm going to put it right there. With this. coat or a cape. Okay. Turns out I wasn't done. It needs a diamond. So I put all the wooden, the all the th wooden spools together. I know that's not all I have, but it's all the ones out of the sewing boxes. 
I put all the vintage like buttons and all that kind of stuff together or not buttons um yeah carded buttons look now it's perfect okay I'm done. I'm hot. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. I'm tired. So, maybe I'll just get in the habit of hopping on Saturday nights on the live YouTubes. Janet, I'll expect a report on that on my desk Monday morning. Look at my cluster. Thank you all for watching. I love each and every one of you. Okay, what color? What's your favorite color, Victor? I can do plaids. I can do... Oh, Mary, you can watch the replay then. <laughs> I'm too tired any other day of the week. Look, my chippy nails. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Victor's going to come up with some colors, and I'm going to make him a masculine crazy quilt. Okay. Oh, sorry to hear that, Mary. Okay. Good job, Janice. You're so smart. You don't have a favorite color. Do you have a color you don't like? Because I guess pink wouldn't be that masculine. Hi, Lynette. Thanks for chiming in there. Okay. Oh, I'll put the scissors up right now. I'm going to put all these needles sticking in the arm. I'm going to put them in a pin cushion. Because that would be tragic. I have 12 pin cushions. Okay. I'm really going. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let me get this out of there.